Hi everyone, this is Dom Designs here, back with another Adobe Illustrator drawing tutorial. Today, I will show you how to turn this image of a NASA rocket ship into a flat design vector illustration using Adobe Illustrator. So without further ado, let's dive into it. If you're new to my channel and interested in Adobe Illustrator process videos and tutorials, then please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell icon so you never miss an upload. For starters, I will bring in an image of a rocket into a 1920 by 1080 pixel resolution canvas in Adobe Illustrator. We will then go to our layers panel and double click on the icon. This will bring up a panel option where we will name our layer template and check the template box. This will set our image as a template with a 50% opacity. Next, we will create a layer above it and name it outline. Now let's start the outlining process. For this, I'll be using the pen tool with a black stroke at about an 8 points thickness. Since this is a symmetrical image, I'll be drawing the left side of the rocket first, and later on I'll be reflecting it to the right. Let's trace out the front of the rocket with some simple lines. For the tip, I like to curve this stroke, so let's use the curvature tool and drop a point on the line and then curve it. Next, I'll draw the side wing. For this part, I'll want to create this black shape on the side of the wing. So I'll select my wing and go to the object menu at the top. We will go down and select offset path. This brings up another panel where we can adjust the size of our path. I'll bring it down to about 13 pixels. As you can see, this has created a perfect shape contouring the inside of our original shape. Now that we have that, we can use our white arrow selection tool to click and delete the points like so. And finally, going to our pen tool, we will make this into a shape. As you can see here, I have this overlapping shape that I don't want. To remove it, I'll be using our favorite tool, the Shape Builder. Let's select the wing and the overlapping shape and head over to the Shape Builder tool. As you can see, when I hover over my drawing, certain areas are being grayed out. By holding Option down on our keyboard, you will see our little plus sign turn into a minus. This means we will be deleting shapes. So let's delete this overlapping shape like so. Awesome! Using the same method, I'll continue creating the left side of our rocket. Next, I'll be drawing the jets using the rectangle tool. Now let's draw the details on this jet. I'll select the oval and go to our edit menu and do a copy and then paste in place. We will select the top oval and stretch it out like so to create a smooth line. I'll bring down the stroke thickness and repeat this step to create a second line above. Great, now we will want to delete these overlapping lines, so let's head over to the Shape Builder tool. Holding down Option, we will carefully click on the lines we want to delete. Do not click on the grey areas or else you will be creating shapes like this. Let's continue building out the rest of the rocket's left side.
Awesome! Now that we are done this left side, we will select everything and head over to our Reflect tool. At the center point of our drawing, we will option click. This will open up our Reflect panel, which we will then confirm with Copy. Finally, we will merge the center shapes of our rocket using the Pathfinder. This is looking really good. For the purpose of the video not being too long, we will speed up the outlining process using these same methods. If you think this is going too quickly, don't be shy to ask any questions in the comment section below. I always get around to answering all your questions. And finally, we are done the outlining process. To finish this off, I will be merging the front jets using the Shape Builder tool. And now comes the coloring process. The colors I will be using come from my official color palette. If you'd like to use the same colors as me, then please check out my Etsy shop link below to acquire this plugin. We will now be creating a new layer and naming it Color. The color layer will go behind our outline layer. This will allow us to easily select our colors or strokes without accidentally selecting the other. Let's give the top of our rocket an orange color. Since our rocket is mostly made up of closed shapes, this will allow us to easily add colors. So what I will do is select the top of the rocket shape and go to our edit menu and do a copy and paste in place. We will now head over to our layer panel with our duplicated shape selected we will drag the little red square below to the color layer. We can then remove the stroke and add our orange color fill. As you can see, our color is now separated from our outline and on its own individual layer. I'll be repeating this process to give our rocket its base colors. Great, now that we know our rocket's base colors, let's give them a little bit of a punch. So let's select our orange top and give it a gradient going from yellow to orange. Since our light source will be coming in from the left, naturally the left side will have the lighter color. I'll be doing the same thing with the rest of the rocket. I'll be using a light gray going into a darker warm gray gradient. Next up, we will add some highlights and shadows. Going back to the top orange part of the rocket, we will select our orange color and do a copy and paste in place twice. 
We will then move over the top layer slightly to the right, creating a gap. Then, we select the top two layers and use the Shape Builder tool to delete our unwanted shapes. And finally, we will give this shape a white fill. For the shadow, I'll draw a curved shape with the pen tool. Then, using the Shape Builder tool, I'll delete the overlapping shape. And finally, I'll use a dark orange and bring down its opacity slightly to create our shadow. I'll be adding another highlight using a white stroke, which we will round off the corners and caps. Then, using the Width tool, we will make the center part of the stroke thicker. Once we are happy with the look, we will go to Object Menu at the top and outline the stroke, which will then make it into a shape. And then finally, let's bring down the opacity. Now let's continue coloring the rest of our rocket. Let's end this off by giving our rocket a blue background and a shadow underneath. And there you have it. This is how you draw a NASA rocket ship based on an image in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this video and please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. See you in the next video. Cheers everyone.